Hello, dear friends, and thank you for joining us today in Mindful Expression for our daily affirmational reading from our day book of comfort and joy leading into the Gospels, the ultimate day and night book of comfort and joy. <clears throat> Let's start with our day book of comfort and joy by Sarah Von Brethna, Simple Abundance. March 7, 2021. Outfitting a comfort drawer. A little of what you fancy does you good. Marie Lloyd. Life requires that we prepare ourselves for the inevitable times that try our souls. This is achieved with a comfort drawer. Comfort drawers are for those nights when you feel as if you'd like to pull the covers over your head and never come out. My refuge is the right-hand bottom drawer of my dresser, where I stockpile small indulgences throughout the year. But many of my comforts were originally gifts that I simply saved for whenever a homegrown unhappiness remedy might be required. Let's see what we find. A box of chocolate truffles, miniature, one serving size, fruit cordel, and an after-dinner drinks, an aromatherapy bath treatment to promote serenity, various British decorating magazines, look for them at the Cosmopolitan nightstands, newsstands, excuse me, a small vial of box rescue remedy, a homeopath essence available at health food stores, a velvet herbal sleeping pillow to induce pleasant dreams, a satin eye mask to shut out distractions, rose scented bubble bath and talc, old love letters, tied with a silk ribbon, a scrapbook of personal mementos, a tiny fancy biscuits, and an assorted gift sampler of unusual teas. Notice the simple abundant pattern of pleasure. Here is all that is required for the spoiling and pampering of our world weary women. A fabulous bath, something scrumptious to nibble, something sen sentimental to conjure up happy memories, something lovely to sip and something delightful to read. Now change your sheets, fill out your hot water bottle, and settle a half dozen white Bonten candles on a tray. Place the tray on the dresser in front of a mirror. Strike a match. A ceremonial, loosely create your own northern lights. Play some soothing music and put on your favorite pajamas or nightgown. Get into bed and luxuriate. If this doesn't work, take two aspirins and call me in the morning. When outfitting our comfort drawer, be sure to line it with a lovely flower, floral shelf paper and tuck in some scented sachets so that the drawer will delight your senses. Wrap your comforts in pretty jeweled color tissue paper and tie them with beautiful ribbons. This way, when you open your drawer, you'll see a dazzling array of wonderful presents, gifts of the heart for the moment deserving of the person you know you are. <clears throat> and there you have Sarah Von Breath Knox. Daily affirmational reading for positive mindset. Now let's turn to the ultimate day book of and night book, Comfort of Joy, the Gospels of the Holy Bible. Comforts in the Gospels. <clears throat> All the comforts we look at from this world, like what we have shared earlier here, can never compare to the ultimate comforts of serving our Heavenly Father, getting and walking with our Lord Christ Jesus, the greatest love and experienced overcomer of the falsehood of this world. Now God wants us you, me, in good spirits. So things, as mentioned before, these material items are temporary. God wants us to come to him first, the true comforter, and the rest will just be. When we look to gospel for all of our needs, all needs are satisfied and fulfilled, and we are truly in his 
love, and better off. Wrapped in the words of our God, we know things others just can't understand. Walking in spirit is keeping it real, serving our Lord, and lights the path for others in truth and action as they see us walking with Christ. Now I'd like to go into some verses in our Bible, which you can reference as well. I would first like to start with three that I'd like to read and share with you. <clears throat> so let us go to Job, the book of Job, chapter 5, verse 11. To set up on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. Now I would like us to turn to Psalms, both in the Old Testament. Psalms chapter 27, verses 13 and 14. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. Now let us turn to Isaiah, still in the Old Testament. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God, and I will strengthen thee. Ye, I will help thee. Ye, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Now I would like to share a list of scripture verses that you can reference, fact reference for yourself and use in your daily walk when reading your Bible and these verses can provide you comfort, encouragement, peace, hope to fill you with godly spirit amidst this world's uncertainties to give you godly strength on your lighted path when, when you just need a boost up. Here they are now. You can rep fact reference Psalms chapter 27, verse 12, John chapter 16, verse 22, Matthew chapter 10, verses 29 through 31, Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34, Philippians chapter 4. I just have fun saying that. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. Matthew, which is really popular in the guru, high sect, coaching media, and social media platforms. Matthew chapter 11. Verse 28, John chapter 16, verse 33. Here are a few more. John chapter 16, verse 24. James, which is my spiritual husband's favorite book. James chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. Deuteronomy. Chapter 31, verses 8 through 9. First Peter, chapter 5, verse 7. Matthew, chapter 19, verse 26. Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 3 through 6. Psalms 46, chapter 46, verses 1 through 3. 
Psalms 24, verse 4, and Romans chapter 8, verses 38 through 39. <clears throat> Excuse me. Before we leave today, I would just like to say thank you so much for being here, dear friends. Those that always stop by and watch and spend this time in mindful expression with us. And to anyone new, I am so grateful and thankful that you're able to join us today and every day. We'll be here for you. So now before we go, I'd just like you to remember as we go to scripture, the Gospels, the book of John, chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And then I would like to take you to Colossians chapter 1, verse 11. Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. And there you have our affirmational readings leading into the Gospels for March 7, 2021. I would just like to reiterate some advice that is very key, that when you are reading your Bibles and your verses and you're joining Christ, that you seek experienced counsel in the scripture. It is very important to have this guidance and it is very important to do daily readings. It gets you closer to God. It helps you to understand how Christ was able to walk and teach as he did. And it just overall gives you that peace, joy, healing, and comfort that so many of us are looking for down here. I want to also remind you to take care of you, take care of me. Please be good to yourself. Please be good to others. And I'll see you tomorrow in more mindful expression. God bless you and yours.